Welcome back, everybody. I am Phil Tabor from Neuralnet.ai. Really quick, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates when I release a new video. I wanted to make a really quick video today on a recent experience I've had while freelancing. At the end of last year, I signed on to a gig uh, that paid well, had a good team, and the work was interesting. The perfect trifecta of freelance work, right? It's kind of what we all hope for. Time went on, everything was fine. Um, however, about a month ago, sorry, about six weeks ago, the client came to uh, myself and the other data scientists and said, hey, we need to cut your hours. Now, uh, I have a new uh, seven-month-old son, so for me, it's like, well, okay, I'll just spend more time with my kid. Not a huge deal. Um, the money's still right. Uh, and it wasn't a significant cut in hours. It wasn't like I was going down to five hours a week or anything. That was red flag number one. Red flag number two came when they said, hey, we need to move you guys off of Upwork. Now, the rationale for doing this was that Upwork charges a fee to both the client and the freelancer. They said, well, you'll save the 5% and we'll save the 2 to 3% Upwork charges us. Win, win. I'm like, eh, I've been working for these guys for a few months. Okay, you know, they seem honorable enough. Why not? So they move us off the platform. And then a couple weeks later, they say, hey, we need to reduce your pay. And their justification for that was that my role had moved out of data science and into more of software engineering type stuff. I said, okay, you know, that's not totally unreasonable. And they dangled the carrot over my head of, you know, in six weeks when this part of the project is finished, we'll bump the pay back up to where it was because you'll be doing data science again. I bought into it. Uh, and in hindsight, that was a mistake. Uh, as time went on, uh, and this has been four weeks under those conditions now. As time has gone on, I found it increasingly difficult to focus on the task. I keep obsessing over the fact that I took a pay cut willingly instead of just walking away. So this morning, that is precisely what I did. I walked away and said, you know, um, if I had come to you and said, hey, I have made some bad bets and I need you to give me a temporary raise to cover that, they would say, get bent. They would, you know, laugh me out of the room. And that would be the end of that if they didn't outright fire me. Of course, we all understand that's how the dynamic works. Uh, why should it be significantly different if you're a freelancer? Makes sense. But since I'm a freelancer, I don't have to take that stuff. I can go ahead and do whatever the hell I want to do. And so I've walked away from the project. Um, and I just walked away. Uh, since they didn't give me any, uh, you know, uh, any two week warning of changing pay, I didn't give them any two week warning of me leaving because turnabout is fair play. So What's next? Well, you can see it in the background there. I have purchased a green screen and the associated accoutrements. Uh, so I will be producing hopefully higher quality videos. Of course, the first few are always going to be rough because that is a pretty steep learning curve, right? I'm a code monkey. I'm not a video editor, but hey, I'll figure it out. It can't be that hard, right? <laughs> Famous last words. So uh, be on the lookout for more informative, more Siraj Raval type style content. Um, uh, obviously I'm not him, but, uh, I can at least stand in front of a green screen, crack a few jokes and, uh, make some more elaborate content, which is what I'm going to do. And also be on the lookout for more reinforcement learning material. Uh, I haven't been focusing on that cause it's so time consuming and I've had the gig, but now that I'm back to doing this, I'm back to doing this. Uh, big things are on the way. I do have the discord channel. I'll drop a separate video on that. Um, looking to build this into a real community. So, uh, leave your thoughts below. Uh, if you've had any experiences where clients have tried to screw you out of money, go ahead and leave that below as well. People would love to hear about that. If you made it this far and you haven't yet, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.